when the adrenals get low, especially when cortisol gets quite low, one of the things you can see is uh, something called areata, um, uh, alopecia areata, which is uh, small places in the hair or in the, in the scalp that lose its hair. It can be the size, oh, it can be the size of a pencil head, or it can be the size of a of a dime, or even the size of a quarter. And I've seen it the size of a silver dollar, and it may happen at one or possibly two or three places. Uh, this is often stress induced. It's not just stress induced, but it's when cortisol is so low, and the stress is high. That's when we often find this. Now the nice thing is that if someone does something about their stress, and they also put some a cortisol cream that you can get at the drugstore on those those bald spots that helps them grow back faster and disappear. What's interesting is they'll often grow back to be a slightly different texture or a slightly different color than the, the uh, hair that was there before. And other people find it grows in exactly the same, but the majority of people find a little bit of a change in texture or in the, uh, in the coloration. Um, I had, for example, one woman who had four or five spots like this and she was gray haired and when they grew in the hairs were absolutely white instead of gray and another woman whose hair was uh, fairly straight but when the hair grew in from these bald spots they were somewhat curly and had uh, they were a bit more wavy than her regular hair so it, it it can happen like this now the adrenals are also related with thyroid function in the sense that Without adrenal hormones, you can't convert the inactive hormone to the active hormone in the thyroid. In other words, the thyroid has an inactive hormone it's decreased called the T4. And that goes down to the liver and it's activated and becomes T3, which is the active thyroid hormone. So most of the thyroid hormone goes down to the liver to be activated. And then it goes out into the rest of the body to be active. And cortisol is necessary to convert that inactive to the active thyroid hormone. And then if you go to the cell where the thyroid is active, and which is in most cells, then it takes cortisol at that thyroid receptor site to allow the thyroid hormone to be most active. And so if you don't have enough cortisol coming from the adrenal glands, the thyroid receptor can't activate that cell like it's supposed to, so you can get signs and symptoms of low thyroid from low adrenal function. As a matter of fact, there's a... Uh, an organization called the Broda Barnes Foundation specifically devoted to low thyroid function. And they say, when you see low thyroid, then you also want to look for low, low adrenal function. 